Hey, people from across Michigan came to Lansing to hold a rally against hate. They say they stand in solidarity with the protesters and against violence directed at people of color. Fox 47's Christiana Ford was there and has more on their message. Now that incident sparking a lot of emotions for the people I spoke here today, and they told me they wanted to do something locally to speak out. I just can't take it anymore. Pain and outrage after a number of recent violent incidents against black people like Breonna Taylor and Ahmaud Arbery. I'm tired every time I cut on the news, I got to see one of my black brothers getting killed or one of my black sisters being beat down. I was saddened, you know, for a minute I was actually angered. Instead of harboring on that anger, owner of Legally Armed in Detroit decided to channel his emotion into a rally against hate at Michigan's capital. And I said, you know what? I'm surprised someone hasn't done it already. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to organize a rally against hate. Let's hold the dangerous, evil people in our society accountable, and let's talk about eliminating this dreadful scourge in our society. The most recent incident, the death of George Floyd, who died in police custody. Video footage showing police kneeling against Floyd's neck for at least eight minutes while he gasped for breath. Protests in Minneapolis later turning into looting, fires, and destruction of property, some feel, is justified. Their response to people feeling jaded and feeling controlled. From different areas it is what it is. Some parents at the rally spoke about fearing for their black children's lives. I have a half black grandson with all the stuff going on. Um, I don't know if he's if he's going to be next. Others hoping it's not them next. I don't want to be into a narrative that we are black and we have to be scared all the time, but there is a sense of fear that comes along with being black. They see the rally today as a call to action against the violence. Get up off you your tail and get out here and make some things shake. And to use their Second Amendment rights. I hope they take us up on what the law allows us to do and to take on a more active role in our personal protection. Reporting in Lansing, Christiana Ford, Fox 47. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry is calling for criminal charges against the police officer seen pinning Floyd to the ground with his knee. We'll have more on the situation there coming up a little later in the show.